Hello you beautiful people and welcome to today's video. So glad you came back to me and you want to draw something with me because <laughs> this is going to be a kind of sit down, grab your art supply of choice and draw along because this is going to be a very relaxed drawing video where I swatch some colors and maybe draw something with them. So, um, yeah. My wife always gif g g gifts me <laughs> some of the paints she makes and I got some new ones and I thought I would swatch them and draw something with them. <laughs> so these are handmade watercolors that we usually sell in our Etsy shop which is close at the moment because we don't know how the shipping situation for everything besides Germany is going to be because you know the current situation so let's not think about that let's just think about making nice art and relax a bit for a moment so I have these pretty she never gifts me almost never gifts me um, full half pens because I take so long to use them up anyway and if I want to refill I can just tell her this is why they are not completely filled and I'm gonna swatch them and there's hair on my rag and that's disgusting so <laughs> um, I'm gonna take a sip of tea so let's see I should bring you a little closer to the action hello <laughs> welcome to the close up shot so let's start with this one this is phthalo tur turquoise tur turquoise i'm very bad at pronouncing that i should maybe just give them all a drop of water so they can activate most of them don't need that but i'm just gonna do it anyway there's cat hair everywhere. I'm not um, an elaborate swatcher if you haven't noticed that. So please be forgiving with my abilities. So I'm gonna, gonna just one very lightly nice so my water looks very pretty right now my, one of my glasses I'm still getting used to this technique where you have two um, water beverages and use one to clean your brush and then tap it off and then uh, clean it again in the fresh water <laughs> so you have good swatches <laughs> I'm just gonna write down the name Phthalo, Phthalo has the weirdest the weirdest the weirdest of of letters you know <laughs> the weirdest of um, letter combinations how do you write turquoise in English? We have to live with that, okay? So, <laughs> so we're fine, we're good. Um, so now we have nickel as though yellow. Ooh, this one. I remember talking with her about this one. This is so bright, my camera cannot handle it. My camera is very confused by the neon, the neon vibes of this one. Wow, <laughs> this is, this is a thing. This is a thing. Wow. 
this is this is this is the color for sure. So nice one. Uh, I'm just writing down what she wrote on the little half pen, so <laughs> This may be not the final names in the shop. We don't know yet. So. Next up is Elizarin. I don't I don't have the English name. I'm just gonna use the German one. Krapplackmittel. So here with me. It's very pretty for sure. These are kind of a bit in a um, primary color kind of range, which I very very much like. Oh, I used the wrong the wrong one again. No. So I just I'm gonna write down the German name. Very pretty. So what do we have here? Oh yes, I remember this one as well. It's Van Dyke Brown. Needs a bit of help. I wrote the German again, I'm sorry. So at first I thought it was very light, but then I remembered it's very dark. You just have to activate it to my <laughs> to my surprise. So <laughs> uh, yeah. We do have these four and th oh what's this? This is uh, okay. So we have Quinacridone Violet. Isn't that pretty? <laughs> I have one from Schminke and it's quite similar to this. I'm not an absolute pigment nerd, so if you are interested in the in more elaborate conversation about our paints, you have to contact my wife. I'm just painting with them. <laughs> so there's that. And the last one is Colleen Blue. Kirk Colleen Blau. <laughs> I don't know. I don't have that much of it, so I don't know if I'm gonna use it excessively. But it's a very pretty color, I know. I need to change my water soon before I start painting. This is very pretty for sky, I think. I really like these colors. It's a very funny, very nice um, combination. Mm. So I'm going to 
going to I want to see what um, I need something to mix one second <sighs> so I got one of my mixing plates that I bought very cheap at Ikea <laughs> not sponsored so I'm gonna move you little fellas over here <laughs> Alrighty, so I want to see what this yellow and this turquoise look together. So I'm gonna mix them. First, I'm gonna use the yellow. Oh, baby! Oh, look at this. I could draw something very springy with this. I should do that. I should draw something nice and spring like. I should. I very much should do that. Yes, I want to do that. I want to. I want to paint something happy and nice. So, <laughs> um, how about I'm gonna look up some references? Yes, baby. I looked up some flower meadows. And I am going to show you my reference when I cleaned my phone from all the from all the finger things. So I don't know if you can see it, but it's it looks like this, all right. <laughs> and I kind of want to try it because I I really want to do it. So. Um, I'm gonna do a little thumbnail and I'm gonna need some space like this. Alright, so like this. I put away my reference which was very very stupid so I'm gonna hold it here <laughs> so I can see. So here is the background, some trees and stuff, and I do want to include some flowers and some plants in general, but I also want to include a person. Is she gonna wear a hat? She's gonna wear a witch head. I'm gonna draw a witch um, I really like witches. Or not. No, she's not gonna wear one. Witches don't always need, need heads, right? So. Alright. <laughs> this is the thumb. Oh, you didn't see it. I. So now, you can see it. Right? So. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna use some green and well it's just a very rough sketch to see what I'm maybe going to do. Some Flowers are gonna be all around here in some yellow flowers as well. I think I'm going to draw it in pencil. Maybe? I think that could be a good idea. Also, I don't know if you mix the Curlin blue and the Van Dyke brown, you can get a very nice grey. I have to say. <laughs> and I think I'm gonna make her blonde because I have this very, very pretty yellow. That's nice. I'm gonna see um, how I'm gonna make a skin color for her. But I have a, I have a brown and I have pinks and stuff, so I'm gonna see. Maybe I'm. Trying it out now. 
Maybe that's better than trying it and ruining the actual painting. <laughs> hmm. Could be an idea. Oh, this yellow is so strong. It's a strong boy. But this is... They could work for a light skin tone, right? Now I'm gonna give her a flower crown. I still haven't watched Midsummer, so... We see. I wanna give her this witchy vibe. I don't know if I'm going to succeed in this. She has some herbs. Some some herbs, herbs in her in a little basket. Oh you didn't see it again, I'm sorry. Is I really hmm is this witchy enough? I do not know what even is witchy. So we're gonna see what this is going to bring us. I think this will work. I can do it. I can make it work. These are very pretty colors and they am going they are going to help me. <laughs> Ooh. All right. I put this aside. So I can still see it but you can't. <laughs> Okay. Alright, so this is a little bit too close. You oh 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 no no so now you can see the whole the whole sheet of paper. Um so I'm gonna get some fresh water and then we're going to start. So I'm back with fresh water and an eraser and cakes I need it. And there's water on my sheet. But I don't know if the microphone is picking it up, but my neighbor decided that this is the perfect time to cut wood with a chainsaw. It's now... Yeah, it's almost noon, so... There's that. <laughs> so we're gonna see. Um, I am going to see how this all will work out and you will, you will see it too, so I'm gonna have her in the middle, so I wanna leave it sketchy, very loose lines, I'm going to give her a headband. And she... I don't even know if you can see the sketch. Nope, this arm is too long. <laughs> too long. Wow. <laughs> this is the first time in a very long while that I have been drawing something so big. So far, I really like how her face looks. I'm planning on on going over this with gouache when I have to um, but I don't know yet so we're just gonna start mixing some paints and I'm gonna take 
the bigger brush for the bigger the bigger areas obviously so I'm gonna use a lot of yellow lots and lots of yellow and if I need to remix it's fine it doesn't have to be super duper um, accurate because it's it's nature nature is not it's not that precise but it's so pretty so and I don't mind that this is kind of sketchy I don't really do mind that at all and I should have taped it down but I did not do that so we're just gonna use it like this and doing these washes is super super fun with this brush I underestimated the capacity or the importance of a good brush for years and now I I see why they are so important you need a good brush if you want to do like if you're when you're you don't need a good brush from the start so but it's a lot more fun to use and if you're advancing your techniques or when you do you sooner or later want to upgrade your art supplies it's just the nature of things Oh man, I should have taped you down. I should have done that. As I said, I leave myself the opportunity to go in with gouache later on if I find it too flat or something. So, what I what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take these and I will need to ask my wife to refill it because she did not put very much in here but it's very pretty. <laughs> so. And it's separating too which is also very pretty. So after this, I'm going to paint the sky and I'm gonna use my curling blue again. It's definitely gonna be enough for this painting. Oh. Should have <laughs> maybe just used um, A5 instead of A4. Oh man, I should take this down. <laughs> boy, oh boy. So my neighbor is still pretty much at it with his chainsaw. Just gonna leave that here. Uh, don't know why I'm so... shouldn't bother me but it does. I don't know if you can even hear it but it's just in the background this roaring noise of the chains. Much better. Much much better. So um yeah. So now I'm going to lay some base layer on her and she's a pretty girl <laughs> so I'm gonna use some yellow again I always underestimate how strong this yellow is so I'm gonna no this is the violet I'm gonna use the red to make a skin tone. I'm 
I hope it works. No, it doesn't. <laughs> More. This. Yes. This is much better. Yes, that's fine. Mm. Take this brown. To paint her basket. Pretty dark though. <laughs> All right. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to give some. Oh, I <laughs> used the wrong color, so that's nice. But let's see what this mix is gonna bring us. We went outside with the dog earlier to pick up his medicine, so it was pretty windy um, at that time too. I think this is working. I think this is going to be okay. I just want it to be a bit sketchy, a bit, a bit loose. Just want to have some fun with the paints. Don't want to stress out too much about anything today. Just some fun. I think it's working. <laughs> but I really want to go with um, some gouache maybe and add some highlights later. We're gonna see if I'm gonna do that. <laughs> Don't know yet. If I really need to. I need more yellow. starts to look like a summer meadow, in my honest opinion. I really find it amazing how many nice green shades I can get with just two paints. I mean, it's obviously you can mix, mix blue and yellow and get a lot of shades, but it's still amazing to me how two paints can provide you with so many color shades like it's still blowing my mind that it's possible so i'm thinking i'm going to add some little flowers to her dress and i'm gonna use my super fine mini tiny teeny tiny brush for that um still have a lot on my mixing plate so I'm going to use that. Some little details for her collection over here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, and because it's kind of an evening mood, I'm gonna shade her in a grayish, reddish kind of color. So. Just for your info why I'm doing that. So, also, why aren't we going to add some clouds if it is possible? I wanted to paint something happy and now I'm painting some ominous clouds. But you know, <laughs> it is what it is. 
we can do it. Shouldn't have made this one so big, I guess. But it's fine. So, um, yeah. <laughs> nice. I still do believe that something is missing. Some, I need some accents, some nice colors that make it a bit more pretty. I don't know why. <laughs> I think that this helped. <laughs> I think this works. I think it's okay. I'm not a super duper good landscape artist, as you can see. Um, yeah, so she needs some some depth. She blends too much into the background. She's too pale. I think this is going to work. I think it's working. Yes. I don't hear the chainsaw anymore, do you? I don't think I hear it. She looks like she's up to something. Which is fine by me. I can live with that. It's a bit better, but still, um, I am gonna do it. I'm going to break out my gouache. Hey there, still nice and not dried <laughs> in, which is good. So I'm gonna grab another brush. So I've tried out these paints and I give. I got them a good testing, I think, so even though I used some gouache, <laughs> which is a bit cheating, but like, it's fine. <laughs> so just a reminder, um, these were the paints we started with and this is the outcome and I'm, I'm pretty happy with it, it's fine. It's not a masterpiece obviously, but it's fine. Um, yeah, I'm gonna gonna finish the video now. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this kind of sorta. I don't know how I'm gonna edit it because I have very many pauses and yeah. <laughs> so uh, yeah, thanks again for watching. I hope you had a bit of fun and we see each other next time. And until we do, please do something that makes you happy. Bye bye.